Hello friends, today I've brought a recipe which can be made very quickly with any leftover bread slices in your refrigerator. It is very simple to make and uses few ingredients which everybody has in their kitchen. So let's begin. So I've taken eight slices of white bread, four medium sized ripe tomatoes, two medium sized onions, two green chilies and a bunch of green coriander leaves. Now I'm going to cut the bread slices into pieces. So as you can see I've used white bread here but if you want you can use either brown bread or bread pow. But you should preferably use stale bread as the dish comes out best with that. Now we'll roughly chop the onions into small pieces. We'll chop the tomatoes as well. I'll finally cu cut the green chilies. Roughly chop the coriander, don't discard the stems as they have a lot of flavour in them. Now I'll soak the bread slices in water for only 2 minutes. After 2 minutes you should discard any extra water that may be left in the bowl. Now put a white skillet on medium flame and heat 2 tablespoons of oil in it. Once the oil is hot add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds in it. Also add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and allow it to crackle. Now I add chopped onions. Saute till light golden brown. Take care the onions don't get stuck to the pan. As you can see the onions has, have got a nice golden brown color. So now I'm adding 1 teaspoon of red chili powder, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon of dry coriander powder. Saute everything for 1 minute so that the spices get cooked evenly. This enhances the flavor of the dish. Now add chopped green chilies and tomatoes. Give everything a nice mix.
add salt according to your taste and mix well. Cover with the lid till the tomatoes get tender and oil separates. As you can see, the oil has separated and tomatoes have become soft. Now again give it a mix. Now add 1 teaspoon of garam masala and mix well. You can also mash any big chunks of tomatoes if left with your spatula. Now add bread chunks to this masala and fold with gentle hands so that the bread gets evenly coated with the masala. Just be gentle when mixing everything together otherwise the bread might get soggy. So I'll check if the salt is good. You can add more salt at this stage if you find it's less. Mm, the salt is good and all the spices are well balanced. Our bread masala tastes really good and spicy. So I'll garnish it with lots of chopped coriander. Coriander gives this dish an amazing taste. A word of caution though, uh, that if you're making it for kids, skip the green chilies and reduce the heat by using less spices. Now let's take this out. You can serve bread masala with green chilies and lemon wedges. It should ideally be served hot as it tastes best when hot. If you have parsley, you can use that instead of coriander. It offers a nice variation. I have tried it with parsley as I have my own uh, parsley growing in a pot and it tastes really good. So subscribe to my channel and give a fat thumbs up if you like this recipe. Also hit the bell icon below to get notifications of all the upcoming videos. Stay home, stay safe. Until next time, bye!